It's hard to believe that Amazon started off as an online bookstore. Today, Amazon is a tech giant and one of the most valuable companies in the world. Jeff Bezos' business acumen has made him a centi-billionaire, and he was briefly worth more than $200 billion. Amazon crushes the competition when it comes to e-commerce, and it's on the verge of surpassing Walmart to become the biggest retailer in the world. Few companies are growing as fast as Amazon. From web services to drone delivery to robotics, here's a look at how Amazon went from bookstore to trillion-dollar company. Today, Amazon has a market cap of $1.58 trillion. That's a far cry from the company's humble beginnings in Jeff Bezos' garage. It all started with an idea and a bit of research, or a lot of research. Jeff Bezos saw the potential in e-commerce after reading a report that the web was growing at a rate of 2,300% annually. So he quit his Wall Street job, moved to Seattle, and got to work. Bezos incorporated Amazon in July 1994, and the company started selling books online in July 1995. Why books, you might ask? Well, Bezos chose books because they're cheap, and there's a wide variety available. Within the first two months, Amazon sales were up to 20,000 per week. Sales continued to rise at a steady pace, and Amazon went public on May 7, 1997. The initial public offering of $18 a share raised the company $54 million, and Bezos used the cash to fund an aggressive growth and acquisition strategy. Even though Amazon started with books, Bezos always envisioned the company as a tech giant. He told employees that the company needed to, quote, get big fast, and even printed the slogan on t-shirts. By October 1997, Amazon had over 1 million customer accounts. Its revenues jumped from 15.7 million in 1996 to 148 million in 1997, and then to 610 million in 1998. In 1999, Bezos became a billionaire at just 35 years old. Things didn't always go smoothly, though. Despite growing revenue, Amazon wasn't turning a profit, and the company almost went under during the dot-com crash. Amazon's success depended not only on Bezos' vision, but a lot of luck, too. Amazon raised cash by selling bonds just before the bubble burst and managed to survive when many other tech companies went belly up. Amazon turned its first profit in quarter four of 2001 when the company posted earnings of one cent per share and revenue of $1 billion. Books were a good start, but to compete with Walmart, Amazon would need to start selling a lot more than just steamy romance novels. Amazon started selling CDs, DVDs, and yes, even VHS tapes in 1998. Remember VHS? Those things were sweet. In 1999, Amazon started selling toys, video games, tools, and much more. The wide variety of products helped attract new customers, and so did Amazon's service. Personalization tools recommended other products to buy on the basis of both a customer's purchasing history and data from buyers of the same items. Sound familiar? People were using Amazon more every day, so in 2005, the company launched its Prime Delivery service. Can you even imagine a world without Prime Delivery? Today, there are more than 130 million Prime subscribers worldwide, and Prime subscriptions make Amazon $25.21 billion annually. Amazon's growth in retail has made Bezos the richest person in the world. His net worth topped $200 billion in August 2020. Today, he's worth slightly less than a net worth of $183.3 billion. Amazon sales were booming in 2020. Amazon's e-commerce sales reached $416.8 billion last year. The company broke records in quarter four of 2020 with $125.56 billion in revenue. Bezos wasn't content selling products made by others. In 2009, Amazon started the Amazon Basics line, which offers office supplies, tech accessories, and home goods. In 2004, Amazon started Lab 126. The Amazon subsidiary makes consumer electronics like the Kindle, Echo, and Fire TV Stick. Now, Amazon could compete with the big boys. Apple and Microsoft started shaking in their boots. Lab 126 developed Amazon's artificial intelligence Alexa. What's the point of memorizing mundane facts when Alexa is at your every beck and call? Alexa earns Amazon $600 million in profit every year thanks to consumers developing Alexa skills. Let's not forget about streaming. Forget Disney Plus, Amazon Prime Video is Netflix's biggest rival. Amazon launched Prime Video in 2006 and today spends $7 billion a year on content. Amazon's success selling books online was the final nail in the coffin for Borders Bookstore. Other bookstores like Barnes & Noble are barely hanging on. 
it might be grocery stores that are on the chopping block next. Amazon started selling non-perishable groceries online in 2006. Don't lie, you definitely use Amazon to stock up on snacks. Thankfully, Amazon sells plenty of healthy food too. Bezos clearly saw that the health food industry was going to skyrocket. Why else would he buy Whole Foods? In June 2017, Amazon bought Whole Foods for $13.7 billion. Just a few months earlier, Amazon launched its grocery delivery service, Amazon Fresh. Even Costco might be in trouble. Brick and mortar retailers like Walmart and Best Buy are desperately trying to improve their online sales so they can compete with Amazon. But Bezos wants Amazon to take over everything. Mwah! That's why Amazon is opening physical stores left and right. As retailers go out of business, Amazon is snapping up the abandoned storefronts for cheap. The first Amazon Fresh physical grocery store launched in the US last year, and this year, Amazon opened up its first fresh grocery store in the UK. The grocery stores are new, but Amazon has been opening physical stores for years. In 2015, Amazon launched a physical bookstore in Seattle. Many of Amazon's physical stores are cashierless. Cameras detect what you put in your cart, and you are automatically charged to your account. Creepy. Most people know Amazon as a retail giant, but the company's big moneymaker has nothing to do with retail. Amazon's most profitable subsidiary is Amazon Web Services, which launched in 2002. Amazon has a 31% share of the cloud services market, which is more than Microsoft and Google combined. Pretty much every website you visit has some connection to Amazon. It's a high margin business and profits are growing like crazy. Amazon Web Services offers over 200 products, including cloud computing, storage, databases, developer tools, and just about anything associated with the Internet of Things. Amazon even uses secure semi-trucks to transfer large quantities of data. The trucks are called AWS snowmobiles and can hold 100 petabytes of data. An AWS snowmobile can move 100 petabytes of data in as little as a few weeks. Amazon Web Services has grown exponentially over the past 20 years, thanks to CEO Andy Jassy. It's no wonder why Bezos picked Jassy to be his heir apparent. Jassy will become Amazon CEO later this year, and Bezos will become executive chairman of the company. Bezos will focus more on the big picture and act as an idea man instead of dealing with the day-to-day -day decisions. Bezos always thinks long-term. He's a futurist, and he wants Amazon to keep growing long after he's gone. Imagine a world with drone delivery, robot butlers, and self-driving taxis. Amazon is making that future a reality. Amazon is already using drones to deliver packages in the UK and will likely start using drones in the United States this year. Amazon spent $47 billion on shipping costs from quarter 3 2019 to quarter 2 2020, and drones could eliminate those costs almost entirely. In 2012, Amazon purchased robotics company Kiva Systems for $775 million. Amazon now has more than 200,000 robots working its warehouses, and eventually all deliverables and manual labor in Amazon's warehouses will be done by some sort of robot, drone, or bipedal. Amazon is even taking on Elon Musk and Tesla. In June 2020, Amazon acquired autonomous driving company Zooks for $1.2 billion. Zoox is testing self-driving robo-taxis in San Francisco and Las Vegas, and Zoox self-driving vehicles could one day deliver packages to your front door. Here's a fun fact, because you didn't have enough right there. Did you know that an average American spending $1 is the equivalent of Jeff Bezos spending $2 million? The Amazon CEO has so much money that a $2 million purchase is practically nothing to him. In fact, he makes about $152,207 every minute. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.